Saw a really, 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 really great movie the other day. I mean, here I am seeing, finding these movies, and I'm sort of, you know, now I have to sort of eat my words that you can't find anything, but as some stuff squeaks through. One that squoked through was Nick Cassavetti's film, which is called God is a Bullet, and I highly recommend it to anyone. Uh, God is a Bullet, and that film will be at Sieges when we're there, We'll be at Sieges in the documentary section. It will be on the midnight, the midnight show at Sieges. Fantastic. Uh, I mean, I just you, just, you just have to see it. God is a bullet. And it was written and directed by Nick Cassavetes. And it's, uh, I think it's his best work. I, I just, I, I, it is his best work. You know, I mean, there are just no holds barred. And, and, uh, it basically sums it up. Again, it's a little, it's an indie film, but it sums it up in a way that you couldn't do with, you know, if you had thousands of extras, you know. Um, but it's it's intense. And, you know, warning, it's, it, you know, if you can't handle violence, don't watch it. It's probably the most violent film that's out there right now. And uh, the violence is brilliant. It's, it's really, um, well, I mean, there's a guy that... Uh, his father was in Rosemary's Baby, right? John Cassavetes. <laughs> so the lineage is pretty good. Anyway, what I'm hoping is that when Larry is at Sieges, which is the big, that's the big, the big sort of horror fantasy sci-fi. It's huge, huge festival outside Barcelona. And there's all kinds of, in Spain, and there's all kinds of films. I mean, it's just chock full this year. Tons and tons and tons of films got made this year. By independence, thank God. And I guess the reason we're in horror and sci-fi and fantasy and all that is because that's where you can be independent and make films. If you're going by the system, they would they would they would thumb it down. I mean, there's no way you get to produce it. They they wouldn't give you the money to do it. So this guy bankrolled Cassavetes, and when he got on IMDb, he wasn't beat up too bad. He he it went wound up around a five five and a half. But I mean. It's basically, to me, it's like an eight or nine even. You know, it's it's really, a, I, I don't know if you could say masterpiece exactly, but almost, I mean, it's very it's very epic. But, um, I you know, I'm hoping that uh, Larry can meet uh, Nick, you know, at the uh, uh, sieges thing. Um, Got to keep tabs on him because he, 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 I didn't see him around for a long time. These reviews, I couldn't believe that they just slammed it, you know, like, you know, one star from Ebert and, and what's his name, you know, just, just because he, he, you know, he had mainstream reviewers and wound up on Amazon Prime kind of like not even promoted very much. I'm like, what gives with this? I mean, this is terrible. So you had like a five out of 10 on, you know, I mean, they really marked it down and, you know, Yes, it had Satanist in it. It had child sacrifice. They didn't show the actual sacrifice, but they did ways of doing it to get around it, you know, to make it, to understand that that's what these people were into when they need a sacrifice. They go, they go snatch a child and execute him. And it's like, exactly. It's not, satanic panic. That, that was bullshit. They've been sacrificing children the whole time. And, and that's what these, they, they just showed a basic cult. In a community, uh, and they were, and they, the ties to the rich people too. It showed that the hardcore Satanist ties to the rich people and how the rich people participate and uh, all, you know, and, and even fund these organizations. And they, in the fact, they're sacrificing children and all that. And the rich are just like, well, you know, there's some great speeches in it too about how, how, um, you know, well, uh, you know, life is like that, and, you know, we're all liars, and we're all sick, and we're all perverts, and we, you know, we try our best, but but we're weak, humans are weak, and so we go to church. You know what I mean? They have these, like, pristine little, you know, the society types are there, you know, going to church, having a nice modern church and big houses and in suburbia, you know what I mean? And yet the whole thing is they're all liars. They're worse than the, the Satanists with the face tattoos. 
The other thing is another really popular thing is the upside down cross. It got it got you know Marduk and all that. They don't have the right mythology. I just have to make one criticism of <clears throat> these people tattooing their faces with upside down crosses. You're all that that the upside down cross is is acknowledging Jesus Christ as Lord. That's all it does. I can't believe they would do that. If you hate God so much, why would you put a cross that it says Jesus exists? You and that and that upside down means you disagree that you're not going to follow Jesus, but you're still proclaiming Jesus Christ as Lord. That's what that cross in your face means, dumbass. The wealthy of the world run the Satanists, run the Satanic cabal because they're the they're the high priests. You know, and they, they come right out of church, they're wearing a three-piece suit, and they're hanging out with a guy with upside-down crosses tattooed to his face. And they're meeting in the back room to, to get give the guy his assignment, and they're handing over some money. They say, take care of it for us. And uh, and they and law enforcement, and all the, you know, they, they're all into meth and, and whatever, fentanyl and meth and, you know, drug dealing, and, you know, they're, they're the cartels also are involved in the same Satanism. And... Um, you know, it's all about Lucifer. It's all about um, taking a blood oath. And it's all about anyone that isn't loyal gets killed. And there's millions and billions and trillions of deaths almost, it seems like. And nobody bats an eye, certainly not law enforcement. Because they're part of it too. And this movie was kind of cool in that it, it included some of that. You know, I mean, not not as big a scale as I was just talking, but I mean, obviously they they included uh, uh, the truth on on many levels, and the film takes no stance on God, that, and it's just a control mechanism for conforming society. Okay, so that's the probably the stance that that Cassavetes takes. He doesn't know Jesus. We hope that uh, he understands one day what what he's what's happening, what's what Jesus really is, rather than this social construct of Jesus, which is total bullshit. And just for the faint of heart, uh, don't bother because it's, if you know, it's w way more violent than just violence. You know, it's, it's a really dark kind of atmosphere. Jamie Foxx makes a uh, cameo appearance in it. And he's, he's before he got sick. And um, anyway, I came on the scene. I don't know really much about the history of it. Uh, all I know is that uh, it was uh, very bold in, in revealing some truth. I'm like, okay, well, maybe this is a trend here. You know, I'm sure it is. Because, see, the revolution affects us whether we know it or not. This is the way, the end.